All right, this was A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. And we read this out loud together. It was pretty short, about 115 pages. And I think we enjoyed it. What did you think about the book? I thought the book was um, entertaining and, um, uh, and um, it was pretty good. Tell us about the characters of the book. Oh, so there was Naya and she was always at the, um, the first part of the chapter which was always pretty short, short, and then um, the other part of the chapter was about um, a boy named Salva. So the first part of the chapter was about Naya, and the second part was about Salva. Mm -hmm. So it was split into, each chapter was split into two parts. Yeah. Okay. And so S Naya's story takes place in like 2008, and yeah. then Salva's story takes place in... 1998. I, th I thought it was like yeah. 1985, but um, yeah, 85. So Naya has to walk about eight or ten miles a day to get a jug of water for her family. Every single day she has to from walk the pond. from the pond to the pond and back. And Salva, he is fleeing civil war back in uh, 1985. He's fleeing the civil war where... Tons of people are, are dying. And so first he has to run. He has to cross the Nile River into Ethiopia. Then they're kicked out of Ethiopia. He goes to Kenya. <clears throat> and eventually he makes his way to America. But there's lots of danger and crazy things happening in between. But yeah, it was a pretty good story. It was a pretty good story. Like I said, it was pretty short. And it's uh, two stories, and they do end up being woven together at the end. Which was pretty nice. Yeah, it was a really nice ending. Unexpected, but it was mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so it's there's tragedy, and there are some dark events that happen. So, Plenty of death and uh, killing, but um, it's based on a true story, you know, of the Sudanese Civil War and to and the child's experience of that. Um, Salva was one of what they would call the Lost Boys because when they were fleeing their villages, nobody really knew what they were, where they were, and they'd end up in refugee camps. And they would try to keep records the best that they could, but they would they were pretty much just like on the run for years at a time, uh, fleeing from the Civil War. So that was um, interesting. It's pretty interesting. And uh, now we know where Sudan is on a map and a little bit about the Sudanese people. So, would you recommend this book to others? Yeah. Like, what age ranges would you say? Um, like, how old would you have to be to read this book? Maybe, like, I don't know, like, 11 to 15. She says 11 to 15. How old are you? 10 years old. She's 10. So, like I said, it does deal with some death. Um, and this is not, it's not super descriptive. One part, um, Salva's he meets he makes a best friend on the road as r while they're like crossing the crossing Sudan and they're going towards Ethiopia. Um, he makes a best friend named Mario. And spoiler alert: one day, Salva wakes up and Mario has disappeared. He's gone. Uh, he's eaten by a lion. And, uh, so yeah, if you, if you're going to read it, you just be prepared for some violence. Um, so there's twist. shooting, murder, war. It's about war and it's about survival. So understand that and you'll be okay. I wouldn't read it to your, to probably to your, uh, five and six year olds, but if you have, a uh, 
a little bit more mature understanding of these things do happen in the world. Um, it's, it's a really good book. So, A Long Walk to Water. Check it out.